Project Glen residents are up in arms over the recent land invasion by people claiming to have permission to build structures there. On Sunday, police were deployed to demolish these illegal structures, but by this morning, there were more protests and tire burning on public roads in the area. A shack fire at Denver informal settlement has left an elderly woman dead and hundreds of people homeless. The fire was allegedly started when a candle was tipped over during a couple's altercation on Saturday night. The Joburg Emergency Management Services is currently running a safety campaign focused on heating and lighting in informal settlements. The 100 cycle challenge took place on Sunday in the city of Ekruleni with a large rider turnout. Now for more on this story, check it out this Thursday on Active. Going back to the land invasion issue, Joburg's MMC of housing talks to us about this new challenge and we get a response from the EFF in Joburg who described the land invasion issue as a rightful claim. We have a problem of uh, land invasion uh, throughout the city where people are taking land and uh, we are trying to present to them that uh, as the city we have a, a program of sites and service where we want to give it to people trying to address the issue of backlogs. You know there is this housing backlogs in the city but we are trying to address that issue through sites and service where we want to service sites and give it to people. But unfortunately people uh, lose patience. They are no longer giving us time to do that. They are invading all over. I'm not blaming them but at the same time they are criminal activities among those programs because when they are invading others are not qualifying to benefit but uh, others are, are, are invading because they want to pe benefit personal so there are those issues but we are very busy looking at that it's not invasion it's occupation we can't call it invasion it's occupation the land is idling and the people are starving for space a piece of land they can call home they're starving for that and the city in the previous financial year they did not build a single house for the people of Johannesburg. They have a backlog that is over 300,000 and previously the city used to build 3,000 houses a year. With a backlog of 300,000 it means it's going to take the city just to address the current backlog over 100 years to address that backlog. So these occupation of land are as a result of people who have no, no place to stay and the city is failing to address those challenges. It's failing to come with an effective plan on how to, to address the, the, the issue of houses and for the people who do not have some. So the EFF were clear. We, we have said as the EFF continuously through the president and the commander in chief that if you see a piece of land and you like it and you have no place to stay, take it, it's yours. We encourage our communities, they can't continue to stay like it's the Nazi uh, concentration camps of Nazi Germany. No, it can't happen. And when there's a lot of idling land.